stage, sometimes you gotta go PK Thunder, and then you get kicked, <laughs> or you get flooded. It's true. It's like, I feel like neither of these kicks is ever out against each other, and like stages obviously play like a big role. Like when you Mario has a counter pick and gets like a, a stage where he can like ladder you really well, like he can like get stocks extremely early. But like, both of these are like mo momentum based as players from what I've watched in the past. No, definitely. I mean, Nathan. I don't know if it, is it just Nathan? I always say Nathan. I just say Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, yeah. No, Nathan, when kind of in his advantage zone and his advantage kind of flow, can just find kills so early. His combo game is so practiced, so optimized on so many different stages against so many different characters. It's terrifying. But the same could be said about Charlie D. And I'm curious about the stage picks here in this matchup. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, Mario is really good on most stages in the game. Any stage with a platform, Mario is extremely deadly on. Ness, however, I don't necessarily know if it's the exact same. Ness kind of like, he likes a lot of stages, mm -hmm. uh, which is like character dependent a lot of the time. Kind of like go for like way he save it. But we're going to go with PS2. The classic. Mm -hmm. I, everyone knows about game one PS2. It's, it's like PS2. But like, Mario is extremely strong on the stage because low ceiling in that platform. But we're going to be see how like Charlie's like shield pressure game is going to be picking in as he's pushing Nathan into the corner. And I mean, the last I watched Charlie did was the Oregon Arcadian. And there we saw a lot of PS2 as well. I think Charlie D, this is a very comfortable stage for him. Okay. Didn't quite find anything off of that, off that setup. That down smash though, gonna be sending Nathan at a deadly angle here. Yo-Yo is like an insane move for pressuring ledge. It catches neutral get up, it catches ledge hang, but Nathan's gonna be able to bust his way in that situation. Oh, a little bit off of trying to find an opening, but now he's gonna try to fight out. Oh, and you entered Mario's zone at 30, did you? Good Nathan. smash out though. Really that combo. Go for the stage control, doesn't go for anything too crazy, not anything too risky. A dash attack did amazing off the cover from the side of Nathan there. Yeah, Nathan a very fundamentally sound player, so you can see him going through, like, getting a lot of these ledge traps. Uh, trying to call out Charlie's options, and Charlie's trying to do that ledge trap with that yo-yo, trying to walk the dog. You know, Nathan picking the correct option there with that get up attack. It's actually scary though, depending on the spacing. Oh wow, amazing awareness. Yeah, good roll because he's able if he's trying to do it on reaction, he has to like do it slightly before or else he even for that. But that back is gonna kill. That move is so strong. Oh, Why does Nez have that? It's strong. <laughs> what the heck? I mean Mario has a a good back throw in his own ray, as we're about to see, not quite killing. Sending about half the distance of Nez back throw. That might be true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down tilt's gonna be hitting hit the shield for a little bit of a check. Yeah, that diagonal PK fire is gonna be just like crucial to like mess his neutral. If you hit that diagonal PK fire, you get a lot of the common starters and it's a lot has like a better coverage than like the country forward. Exactly. I mean it's like it's strong in the same for some of the same reasons that like a Kuma fireball is so strong in Street Fighter, right? That diagonal just covers so much space and that's kinda of where Mario wants to be jumping. He wants to be jumping at you, he wants to be jumping forward. Ooh, going for the up smash, but it's going to be able to get negated by the shield. Okay, this air dodging out, I like that because it's just like, don't mess with Mario. If you swing that top flat, he only has like nefarious purposes for you. <laughs> Charlie E just denying the back throw kill. Ooh, good oh, hold down. Wow. Able to break past the yo yo and hit Ness. Cape, trying to get a cape up smash, but since the since Ness too far, and that back is going to be a good call at catching that jump. Nathan equalizing the stocks. And Nathan's been so tricky with his movement there. We saw the kind of landing into that immediate rising back there. That was just so smart on his part. Yeah, and now going for the damage. Yeah, good whiff. You can't get like a ladder directly at zero, but like once you get them to around four turns, he's looking to grab. Yeah. Up air, up air. Oh. There, there we set. Oh, oh I love that. Yeah, because you go for the nair because if they try to like DI out, or DI in for the other kind of thing, like it sends them into a combo percent where they can still get up air instead of being like that. I mean, 30 is that kind of speed bump for when Mario wants to grab you on a stage like PS2. Now, Charlie at 72 can be a little bit harder to find that kill, potentially. Ooh, try to stop him, try to get like maximum damage, but moving off, and Nathan's gonna be able to put him in this ledge type situation because of that. Yes, we coming against the ledge. <laughs> okay, Cape is going to creatively like shoot around. That down is gonna shield poke. And now we're gonna be in a situation where that magnet is going to flip the script. Ness is about to start going in on Mario. Okay, looking for that up smash, not quite finding a trophy. Staying patient, staying, uh, staying strong there in center, okay. shielding, knowing oh. back throw can't really do much. Yeah, sometimes you just get Yo-Yo at the ledge. You can't pick neutral, get up there. We're like, that's when it will take a stop. And Charlie D is going to be punching his way into the game too. And I mean, we saw throughout that game, Nathan had answers for Yo-Yo almost every time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when you're in a pressure system. Pressure scenario, like you're on last stock, you're down, you know, 
a, a stock and then some, that's when you're really going to be seeing those yo-yo kills come out unless you're extremely mentally prepared for them. And I mean, Charlie D, you know, eventually it's going to hit its mark. Yeah. Sometimes like people who are playing very funny these uh, totally sound, like they expect you not to do it after like the third time, but like there's like no risk for Ness going for that a lot of the time. So you exactly. Just keep like, okay. Starting up the set, we're gonna have a nice conversion. I like that that e reverse magnet set up the back here to get a little extra percent. No, that was gross. Let's try to Charlie D. Nathan finding that that grab. Oh, this is zero. Oh. That could have been crazy. Yeah, if that was the eye out, that fireball would have combo in the grab. But instead of that, we're gonna be in this situation where Charlie D is looking to like send uh, send Nathan back off the stage. Oh, a free one. <laughs> Only part able to connect there. But you'll take you'll take any percent you can get, especially if it's not like a get off me option. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say yeah, no, it's just a get off me. And Nathan, I feel like uh, not necessarily having an easier time in neutral as Mario against Ness. Oh, does he know? Again? Does he, he, he know? The eye? Oh, he knows. Oh, wow! Amazing counterplay from Nathan. Nathan does a lot of practice on Wi-Fi. I imagine he's been in that spot many times. <laughs> oh no, I I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Trying to find his opening, and I feel like he's kind of keeping. Oh, that was I almost was that was getting kind of filthy. With yeah, how that angle was sent at zero. Okay, up there, trying to get a dare set up, but Charlie D is able to press his extremely fast start up Ness there, to just break him out of that situation. Now weak bear, not doing too much, except putting Charlie back off stage. Nathan still an advantage here, still holding center, but can you find the kill? It's just so hard. Charlie D is so good at knowing exactly when you're gonna press out of shield, and so he'll do a bunch of moves on your shield. But the moment you try to punish him for it, there's already an up tilt in your face. Yeah, it's so frustrating for people all the time, like when they fight Ness, because he's able to press these like fast startup, like, extremely safe like aerials on the shield, and because of how he floats and the magnet dynamics, you have to like factor like three different like option selects that like come out. Just so strong, Nathan. Back on ledge, finds the strong back air this time. And that's gonna be the first stock now, evening up the stocks. Charlie D though. I mean, already has Nathan at kill percent, potentially. Yeah, Charlie D is like looking for a lot of jumps right now with a lot of his option choices. So, Nathan, I wonder if he's going to make some adaptations about that and try to put my grounded. But that up smash is going to be able to catch his spot dodge. Okay, let's just reach Good spot dodge. You can pass that back air. Fair grab. This time, Nathan able to buffer an escape option. That f is going to be also forcing you off in the class option. That Yo-Yo's misspaced. And because of that, Nathan's going to even try to sneak up. But he has no jump right now. He got sent the stage. Oh, yeah, I caught the, the jump and the air dodge. Nathan trying to do the drop down into the air dodge onto stage to try to get past that setup, trying to, to pull out a new trick to throw at Charlie, but unfortunately, getting clipped there. Yeah, the thing with Mario right now is he's still in this. This is grab kill percent if you can get a good extension ladder. Like up, okay? Go for oh. double back air, get your damage, I respect it. Just put him off the stage. So the air dodge up. Oh, no option to try to cover that air dodge. But he's able to still rack the set against him hit, so that's all that matters so in the long run. I think that real call out on the side of Nathan not quite working out in his favor. Yeah, the down tilt was a little bit off. That down tilt hits. That S match is really strong. Already at 73. Is Nathan now at 84 and off stage? This is so scary. Charlie D off stage, but the dash attack actually hitting his mark this time. Does he have jump? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. Able to avoid that situation. Okay. Charlie D immediately doing the magnet back, trying to catch Nathan, mashing the button. Oh, and just good patience on the side of Nathan. Charlie D, though, as patient as ever, though, neither player really pressing a button. Okay, Mario at the ledge. What are we gonna do this time? He's gonna roll, he's gonna to get up. Oh, okay, so he just decided to get a full hop away. But this time, your aerial is getting punished. I am tired of you hitting my shield, <laughs> he says. Oh, put the magnet into the back air. And that combo is just so good. Such a good reversal. The, dash, or the get up attack thing. Just get off me. Let me back on the stage. Just one more time. The walk up into the back throw. Not quite gonna kill. Yeah, we got the hose out right now. With the, with the, trying to send him off with that water. But that time, that fair grab is going to hit. And that fair is going to go all the way down and catch you. Very active move. It's kind of tough like when Ness like, jumps out for certain characters because like you kind of have to like, end up in a 50-50 situation when you're going low and either keep going low and like skirt underneath or like try to jump high. But like Charlie D is able to get that 50-50 with that fair. You know, amazing stuff on the side of Charlie D. Sorry, I went quiet for a second. Because as exciting as that match was, I'm really excited for this next match. Oh, who do we got? We got a, we got Archer and somebody. Oh, I, I, I know that much. Not okay. not to not to get ahead of ourselves. This set 
was really good. I feel like, like I said, I really like Nathan's movement. I really like Charlie D's movement as well. And I really like both of their patients. I feel like both of them kind of were, had 